So let us first open a new file. So you need to click on this icon. So after the screen appears, we can click on this icon and first we will save this model as. And give a name over here. I am giving 3span PSE box girder for MCB. I am saving it. Then I am changing the units to kilonewton and meter. So anytime during modeling, you can change the units. First, we will define the properties. First, we will define the material property. Click on material property, add, and over here, we'll select concrete. So first, I'll be defining M50 property for my superstructure. So I'm selecting IS Indian standards from database. I'm selecting M50. So these are the properties corresponding to M50. And you can click on this button and minimize it. And when you click on apply, so this gets added. Again, I'll select M40 for the substructure. Then I'll click on apply again. So this property also gets added. So in case if you want to change the properties, you can change the standard to none. These properties will be open for you to, for editing. Then one more property, steel property, will be defining for pre-stressing steel. So I'm selecting type of design as steel and changing the standard to IS standards and then selecting FE540. So name I will change for this property to tendon and then I just minimize this tab and click on OK. So this property also gets added. So we have added these three material properties and then I'll close this. Now we will be defining time dependent properties corresponding to our superstructural material. So for that first we will define three constraints property. Click on add. So over here, if you see, we need to enter the compressive strength of concrete. So here, it will be easy if I change the units to Newton and mm. So I just close this window, close this, and change, uh, change the units to Newton and mm. Then I'll go back to Creep and Shrinkage tab, click on Add. Over here, I'll give the name corresponding to M50, Creep and Shrinkage property as M50 C and S. And code I'm selecting ISC 112, compressive strength for M50 at 28 days as 50 MPa. And notional size, I'm putting a trial notional size of 1000 mm. And I click on show calculation results. So these creep coefficient and shrinkage strain. So these are corresponding to this notional size and these parameters over here. Individually, for all the cross-sectional sizes, notional size will be calculated automatically by the software and you need to click on OK. So this property gets added. Again, defining the second time dependent property, which is the compressive strength, you need to click on compressive strength, click on add. Over here, I'll again, I'll give the name M50, 50 compression. So the code I'm selecting RC112. Over here, you need to enter the mean strength of concrete. So in RC112, it's given FCK plus delta F is FCK plus 10. So for M50, it's going to be 50 plus 10, that is 60 MPa. Type of cement, I'm selecting normal cement. When you click on redraw graph, so this is the variation of compressive strength with respect to time. Even the elasticity is going to follow the same kind of curve. When you click on OK, so this property gets added. After this, we're going to link these two time dependent properties with the material property M50. So for that, we'll click on material link. Over here, I'll select M50 creep and shrinkage property, M50 compressive strength property. Materials, I will double click on M50, and then click on add or modify. So this gets linked. I'll scroll down. Close this window. Again, when you click on Works tab over here from the tree menu, so this shows that this M50 properties are, so they are already linked to material M50.